<laughs> so another adventure in Mount Pleasant. <laughs> wanted to work at a chick-fil-a but i never wanted to do fast food um especially being 38 because we all know that fast food doesn't pay however i am in mount pleasant south carolina so in mount pleasant if you're from charleston you know this is where you know everything is more higher priced um including rent gas stations utilities all that kind of stuff so Chick-fil-A pays $20 an hour as long as you have an open and available schedule and right now my schedule is open and available until the winter when I jump back into my van and head to Arizona Utah all of the things so I'm at my second interview I hit off the first interview yesterday and let me show you my view while I wait until it's three o'clock. Your girl is never late for anything. And I literally live five minutes from this Chick-fil-A. So I am 30 minutes early. <laughs> but let me show you this view though. Golden, golden, I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. Anyways. Um, yeah, I am. I've been praising and worshiping all day today. I had the windows open. It's beautiful outside today. It's supposed to rain, but as of now, it looks okay. So I popped open all the windows in the apartment and I have just been playing music and worshiping and just thanking God. I shed a few tears. And so today's going to go good. You know, his will, not mine. And I'll check back in with you in a little while. Well, drum roll, please. That was a terrible drum roll. I got the job. Yay! Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. You too, thanks. thanks. I haven't talked to you all like actually sat in front of the camera and talked of reasons and my channel is slowly growing i like to call it organically growing because i am not getting on apps and trying to pay for views or pay for subscriptions of like new subscribers anyone that i've ever wanted to subscribe to my channel i wanted to organically grow because i want to make sure that the content that i'm posting and the person that you're watching <laughs> is what you want to see so uh yeah i'm almost at 500 subscribers and it's just been a joy making the content i love it it is such a healthy healthy outlet a health a healthy outlet um for me and my life at this time Okay, so questions. Um, Jana, this is the one that I always get and I get it from everyone across the board. Friends, family, associates, people who watch my YouTube channel um, and not that y'all are not friends and family because anybody who has subscribed to my channel, I just want you to know that I pray for y'all. I consider you family. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, but back to what I was saying, everyone says, Jenna, you are like a grasshopper. You just, <laughs> you hop from one thing to the next. And I can only tell you that I've always been that way. Um, recently, someone said, gosh, you're so fast. And I'm like, listen, you have no idea. I am a fast cooker. I'm a fast thinker. Whenever I'm working, I work fast because I'm always thinking six steps ahead. Um, I'm a fast talker. I am a fast cleaner. I do everything fast, okay? I shop fast. I read fast. I, I'm i fast, okay? <gasps> Maybe I shouldn't say I'm fast because 
I'm not that kind of fast. Mm. Okay, so that was question number one. Uh, question number two, what am I doing right now and why am I not in the van? Right now, I am renting a room in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. And yes, it is expensive. However, um, costs are split in half because I do rent it with one other person. Um, and they are introverted like me. We have a lot of, we actually have the same birthday. Um, and I'll share more information, but first I kind of want to ask her if that's okay. Um, so yeah, that splits the cost. And I always, if I was going to rent a room and not be in my van, I wanted to make sure that it was still a vacation on a vacation. Because again, you guys, I have been working since I was 14 years old. And I'm talking about when I first started working, obviously I did not have a car. I didn't get my license in a car until I was 20 years old and I paid for it myself. Um, so yeah, I caught a lot of buses. I've walked to work. I found rides to work and I never really worked one job. Excuse me. I was always two jobs, even three jobs. Um, and I did that from the age of 14 until I was like 37. Yeah, 37 years old, almost 38. I'm 38 now. Um, and I just said that I sold everything. I don't own any furniture. I don't own knickknacks. I have like two planter things, but I don't own things. And I really try to keep it super minimal because I don't want to be in debt. I don't want to ever work two and three jobs again um, to maintain a lifestyle. Um, hence the reason why I live in my van. However, I'm renting the room in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina because I live in Charleston, South Carolina. So if you Google, if you've never been to South Carolina, it is so beautiful. One day, I hope you make the visit. If you ever have it on your bucket list, we have so many bottles of bottles. We have so many bodies of water very close to us. We have Isla Palms. We have Sullivan's Island. We have Folly Beach. We have Myrtle Beach. We have a lot of water. Um, we have pelicans. We have beautiful, 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 beautiful sights to see. Oak trees, the angel oak. Um, but it is hot. I'm talking like a burning hot. <laughs> the humidity here is an insane. You can go outside and check your mailbox and you will start to sweat. So I was like, I'm going to thug it out. I don't want to rent a room. I want to save as much money as possible because I want that to be for my daughter and my grandson and my soon to be granddaughter. I want it for my family, just a little nest egg so we can go to the Bahamas and Pig Island and do all of these things, which I still will do. And that's why, again, I don't buy all the fancy furnitures and all the things because I wanna keep it super minimal because with just me bringing in an income in the society that we're at right now, everything, inflation is insane. I mean, boxes of cereal that used to be $2 is now like $8. I could talk to you for days. I mean, the price of eggs, you guys. The price of eggs. Chicken, chicken. Chicken. So, um, yeah, so I lost my train of thought. <laughs> But, oh, so I was going to thug it out. I was going to live in the van. I was going to buy an uh, um, AC window, like a little small window unit, 5,000 BTU. I looked up videos. People were putting it in their van. They were just building it out of a window, the back window. And I'm like, perfect, I can do that. So I bought the AC unit. And before I wanted to actually take the window out and put it in there, I wanted to see how much power it was going to pull. It pulls a lot of power on my solar. I had 300 watt, 2000 watt inverter. I wasn't going to be able to run it all day and still charge other things in my van. Um, and I mean, it's hot. It's hot when you go to bed. It's hot during, I mean, it's super hot during the day. But we're talking about like 85 at 7, 8 o'clock at night. 
and 110 sometimes, depending, during the summer days. And it was just pulling all of my solar. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go to a favorite place of mine. Yes, is it bad? Is it bougie? Is it expensive? Absolutely. But I am in love with Mount Pleasant. I cannot tell you how much I love Mount Pleasant. It is literally four minutes from the place that I'm working at right now. We have a nine foot pool in the subdivision in the apartment complex. I, I can drive to my church in less than three minutes. There is a Harris Teeter on every corner. There's nothing bad I can say about Mount Pleasant. So yeah, that was a question. Um, Another question is being single. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be single and I'm going to stay single. Oh, do I get lonely because I'm single? I have been single for going on four years. Um, and there's a good reason because in this day and age, and yes, I've had a daughter. Yes, I have made a lot of mistakes, but back in 2019, I really devoted myself to Jesus. I have had a slip up here and there. Nobody's perfect, but I strive every day. First of all, I have the fear of God, okay? Um, and I strive every day to be sanctified and to be holy in his sight. When I get into that line up to the golden gate and I'm behind Paul and Paul in the Bible has done all these things, I want him to be like, like oh my gosh, oh, that's Jana. And I know it's not about my works, but I do want to be, I want to live a holy, sanctified, righteous life. Because God says while we're still on this earth, we are to be sanctified. Um, so long story short, living in this day and age, trying to date, men are like Netflix and chill. They just want to kind of go on a date. Most of the time it's like, oh, we should kick it at your house or you should come to my house. No boo-boo. And Jana Brown ended about that life. And because of the reason, because I am abstaining from having sex until I am married, the dating scene is dry, y'all. It is dry. But again, like who wants to date somebody who's all in it for just for sexual advances? Because I want to be loved. I do not want to be lusted after. But that was just to answer a few questions. Um, on my page and another thing I just want to say thank y'all so much thank y'all so much for the comments for the prayers for the love for the compliments all of it I am super introverted um I don't really hang out with a lot of people um and the friends that who who do know me know me and love me for who I am I really do appreciate it I might not call every day, but if you text me, I will text back. And I do hang out from time to from time to time, but I just like to be kind of in my own zone. I love to read, walk the beach, but I do spend a lot of time alone because that's how I recharge my batteries. And so if you love me for me, I do appreciate it because I do love you for you.